Mashpiece has the ability to send out mass emails to all of your contacts with email addresses. You can send out nice looking HTML newsletters or just a regular email that you just type up. The email marketing module is under contact manager and it consists of three steps. First step is to create a list of all the people who you want to send the email to. Second is to actually uh, make the email template and third is to schedule it to be sent. I'm going to click on list now and it will show the list grid of all the lists that you've already created. To add a new list, just hit the add button. You'll want to name your list, such as all customers or everybody, and then describe what the list is about. You can do um, uh, all art, everybody, all artists, customers, designers, vendors, fixed, or custom. When you click the custom option, you get a set of uh, uh, parameters where you could um, uh, distinguish who you're going to send the email to. For example, you may want to send it uh, to everybody who lives in New Mexico who's purchased more than $500 worth of art at your gallery within the last six months. After you've created your list, the next step would be to um, make the email template. After clicking on templates, you'll get a grid view of all your templates that you previously created, and you can use those newsletters for future um, and just maybe modify them uh, to apply to the next newsletter. To create a new news uh, template, just hit the add button and you'll name your template and um, you can simply type in an email. So, so maybe you might, might want to do dear and then the first name of the contact. And obviously here, the actual first name of the contact will be replaced by the first name. There's also some other tools that you're probably familiar with where you could change the font color, uh, change the font size, or change the font style. You can also import an existing HTML newsletter if you have one already created. To do that, you'll click on the folder icon in the top left, and you'll find your um, existing newsletter. I happen to have one in my Spring um, 2008 folder here. And I'm gonna wanna change the um, file search box here in the lower right to uh, to an HTML file and then I will select the newsletter that I want to um, send. Now all of the information with the grid and the text will come in but as you can see the pictures will not come in. Um, the placeholder is there though so you'll have to manually add the pictures and to do that you'll just click on the insert box and then picture and then go find where the picture is. Um, one thing to keep in mind is it can do JPEGs and PNGs, but it doesn't do GIFs, which is why I renamed it to a JPEG here. So once you select it and upload it, so it created the picture and um, the place loader is still there, so you have to delete that. And you'll want to go through and add all of the pictures manually um, if you have some. Um, I have a, uh, an existing newsletter here that I'm going to send out. So after you're done with the, um, the newsletter template, then the next step is to uh, schedule it to be sent. So when you hit the send button, you could schedule it to be sent in the future or send now. Um, so I'll go ahead and hit the add button and then you'll pick your template name and then the contact group name, um, I'm going to say everybody, and then when you want it to be sent. So maybe you want it to be sent next, uh, next Friday at 6 p.m. You can also hit the send now button and it will send now. Now keep in mind this technically does not send it now um, to limit the resources of sending um, every every couple minutes on the server. Uh, what happens is it sends a request on the server um, following the top of the hour. So right now it's 10:45 a.m. my time, Mountain Standard Time. So if I hit send now, it's going to be a, it's going to be sent at 11 o'clock in the morning. If I send it at 2.45 p.m., it won't be sent till 3 o'clock p.m. So again, top of every hour. You can also name the campaign in case you want to track the, the, the statistics. You'll get a status of if it's pending to be sent or if it's already been sent. Once the email has been sent, then you can click on statistics and see the statistics of um, who opened the email, how many requests on the emails, 
um, how many uh, reported it to be spam. Um, and here's a little, uh, little bit of information for you on what all of those options mean. Uh, and that's the uh, gist of sending emails.